G'day everyone, this video is about how to put together our GW paint rack. So the paint rack comes with two sides, <coughs> two, two sheets of full decks and then a half sheet. So you need to punch out all of the sheets. Now the two main sheets are all identical, so you've got four of these pieces that look like this, and four of these base pieces. Put them aside, <clears throat> and you have one final sheet which has got two other pieces. Now this piece here, you can tell it's got the little cut ends in it, is the front, and finally this piece with no cut ends in it is the brace for the back. So I'm going to put both of those aside. First thing to do is to make sure all of the um, tags here or the holes are all empty, right? So make sure there's no uh, bits of MDF stuck in those. So the way to work with this is you take one of these base sections and clip the uh, paint base, if you like, with the holes in it, into it, and then stand this up. into one of the gaps as they appear here. So, oops, you can see it only goes one way. I'll try and show you that a little bit better. Now, of course, when you're doing this, you're gonna do it with glue. I'm just dry fitting this one. <clears throat> so if you can see, this one is now so it's straight and across is now filled. The rest of these are open, waiting for their other pieces to come. Of course, the golden rule is always dry fit first to make sure that you've got it round the right way. Even the designer has to do that. Now you could, if you wanted to, glue these T pieces together first so as they're rigid before going to this stage here. Like that will make it um, move around a little bit less because it does tend, to, without um, it being glued, it does tend to be a little bit floppy with the move. floppier it is in the move, the harder it's going to be to get the whole thing lined up. Right, and then the front, just link these two bits together. And you see the whole thing sits together like a set of stairs. <clears throat> and I've got the base to go in as well. Now I'm putting this video together in a little bit of a hurry because a customer has requested it. So normally what I would do is I would glue these T's together, right? So as the joins between the base and the front piece are solid, so as when I do this bit, they don't move around too much. So I'm gonna have a go at this. The likelihood is they're gonna move around and make it quite difficult. But the principle is you basically take your side bit and start at one end and work, it, work your way up the model. So what I'm doing is I've got these base ones, oops, you can't even see that. I've got these lined up in here, right, and I'm gonna work up each of the joins kind of systematically. I'm not worried too much about the ones up here. So the MDF slightly flexing as I work my way up the model. Right, 
So now that bottom section's all in. So the trick is I'm putting downward pressure on it, enough to hold everything in place, but not enough to stop the things being able to slide around and move. Right, there you go. So that is in. And then I've just got to worry about the clip at the back. Right, and there we go. Now, so it's hard, quite difficult to see in the video, but all of these are now flush. So I've got the MDF tags have come through. Right, now, of course, I would have put glue on that before I started. Right, so the whole thing is now set. I could put a weight on it, but if I carefully pick the whole thing up, this is fraught with danger. Right, I'm just putting solid pressure on now to hold the whole thing together. There you can see. Okay, so I can now leave that aside like that. Right, and wait for it to dry. So, there you have construction of a GW paint rack.